Hello and welcome to the Car Sim and Race Driver Show with me, Hugh Hattrick, and my very special co-commentator and guest, Andrew Marr. Woo! Looking very relaxed tonight, Andrew. <laughs> now, what we thought we would do is rather than bore you with an hour and a half of our commentary on races that do tend to take an awful lot, um, a long time, and not much happens, um, we thought we would do a couple of 10-minute shows because we know that it's much easier to watch a 10-minute show than it is an hour and a half. How okay. about that? I've got 10 fingers. 10 fingers. Well, these are actually toes because then I can point. One, three. <laughs> so on the first show, we are going to cover Le Mans. That's right. That race we completely forgot about. Should um, we try to play that for our American cousins? Le Mans. Le Mans, 24 hours. Ooh, but um, yes, so it was on the virtual Le Mans. That's the proper name of the circuit. Circuit de la Sarthe or Sartre or whatever. That's right. Yeah. So well, we, were going, we thought we would talk about that. And because if you've been watching it or if you've been um, thinking about that, knowing it's been on, we can tell you the result. That's right. If you're watching tonight on Sunday, you'll see that it is right here. Um, now, I will um, just share the screen, uh, make sure that that is working. Um, here we go. It's going to come any no. second now. Yay, there we are. Le Mans 24 hour virtual. Uh, hash one rebellion repels late by Cole's charge for victory. I have to say, Autosport cannot write. <laughs> it's like, where's a comma or any kind of spacing to make you think, what does that mean? My goodness me, nothing like taking a break with a comma. But, uh, but to give you an idea of who won, it was the Rebellion Williams eSports entry that survived a late challenge from the sole by Cole's car to win the inaugural 24 hours of Le Mans virtual race. Now, this has been organized by the WEC, the World Endurance Championship. Mm. Of course, it's been done uh, on the, the very date that the, the real race was supposed to be. But the good news is that the real race has been postponed until September. So there's a good chance that they will actually be able to um, carry it out. I imagine it will be still social distancing, although we're trying to explain that to the French might be exciting to say the least. <laughs> but uh, so what happened during the race? Well, the Mans virtual hour on hour one, the WRT leads the way, but it had lots of big names like Alonso, who retired very early on with technical issues, and that brought out the red flag. By the eighth hour, Veloce holds the sway over red line, and by hour 10, Verstappen had crashed out from the lead. Then on hour 12, Rebellion takes charge at half distance, holds on to its advantage, and on hour 19, there was another red flag issue, and Verstappen and Norris, who had both uh, 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 basically failed, they retired, were allowed to come back into the race, but they finished down in 25th. But it looks like it was a pretty dramatic race, actually, and a lot of fun. Um, and again, the coverage and the quality of the coverage seemed to be very good. What do you think about all of that then, uh, Andrew? What do you think about the virtual the, Uh When you say Verstappen, are we talking about Joss or are we talking about Max? I think it was Max. So he'll do that, but he won't do the F1. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it seemed that he went into the race. He crashed from leading. Um, the race as well. Uh, Verstappen was actually leading, but then crashed out. Had some issue. It crashed out. But um, the whole point of a twenty-four hour race is it doesn't matter who's winning in the first lap, really, does it? No. It can keep going for twenty-four hours at a pace that wins at the end without yeah. breaking the car. Did what? Did, did the cars have damage on, or were they indestructible like they are in the, the F one? No. As far as I know, they had damage. They had to do lots of pit stops as normal. Driver changes. Tires yeah. had to be done. Fuel, everything was like was like the real thing. Um, so it was a proper, a proper simulation. And I have to say, it was it was of, of pretty high quality as far as I can see. But no doubt our uh, viewers and listeners can tell us otherwise if they are. Um, so no, that's that's the thing that was in it. But it looked quite. It was certainly I I, I enjoyed. Um, I mean, I, I seen some of the highlights um, as I was watching it yesterday, um, and also obviously this morning and a wee bit this afternoon. So it, it was pretty good actually to see it. And David Perel, I think, ended up uh, finishing fifth, sorry, 15th um, after a whole bunch of issues. Um, and that was in the Ferrari. So they were quite, I think they were quite chuffed about that. 
Um, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting one because it's a long way to go. Twenty-four but hours. I like there were a lot of good fields. I mean, Ver, Verline or Verline is uh, well known for for doing sports cars anyway. That's F1 driver. Alonso, everyone knows that he's been trying to win Le Mans, so it's nice that he got involved, even though you know he, cr he crashed out or, or blew up or whatever he did. Spat his dummy out because somebody told him no. Um, usually Alonso stuff. So yeah. yeah, it sounds like they had a decent field anyway. So um, again, better than the F1. The only thing yeah. that I was a bit disappointed, I couldn't find it on Twitch, which is uh, and uh, it had issues trying to load on YouTube. So yeah. that's unfortunate. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, as usual, it wasn't it wasn't covered well at all. And when I tried to, to find out what was happening, um, um, then uh, yeah, it was it literally came on today saying that that's what was happening, um, which is which is a bit crazy. That um, but yeah, yeah. so no, that was the that was the thing. <laughs> Always disturbances when you've got your live live show lights on outside. <laughs> that uh, Any um, minute, Nico Rosberg's going to walk in. Well, that would be quite good. Life. <laughs> I don't mind that, um, but you know, <laughs> but no, it was pretty good. There was also another thing I thought we would have a quick chat about was they're going to be axing um, a, a whole number of bits of for you know the Formula One races. It starts exactly three weeks today. Um, if you're watching this on the Sunday, um, then it's going to be the, the, the obviously they can't do the podium because it's too there's too many people in a. In two oh, have you got any news on what they're doing with that? Well, they might be. Well, they, 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 what they were saying, what Ross Brown was pointing to, is that they might stay in the cars, you know, come onto the grid, and then get out of the cars when they're on the grid, uh, once they finish, um, like they do when they go into the pits, you know, and they, they have one, two, three, and um, yeah. they'll be like that. So they'll park out there, and then they'll be given space so that they can, in turn, uh, be able to uh, kind of talk. I'm not sure how the kind of interview thing. They're going to have them. I think mics on on long poles or something, so they can interview you. And oh, yeah. They have three microphones, mm. and by each microphone is the, 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 the trophy. They walk up to it with the trophy and, and the, the champagne, and they just talk into the microphone. How about that? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. they can have sprinkler systems to pretend they're spraying champagne at themselves. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> uh, uh, it's going to be interesting. But you know what? I had a funny. I had a, I had a vision. I had a vision. Everyone's going to think I was completely mad. But I had a vision that that Vettel um, wins the championship this year. And uh, and and I just wonder. You know, I just wonder whether it be his thing, trying to get publicity for Ferrari, all of that, and the whole. You just you never put it past them. Because no, no, I, I wouldn't. Um, are we finished with the other screen? By the way. We, well, I, uh, yep. I was. This is the screen for the Formula One one. Um, but um, hang on, I will stop sharing that one there. There we go. I'll just, I'll just everything I've heard so far, uh, Ferrari has been touted as the third team this year, the car uh -huh. fastest behind Red Bull, and the Mercedes still have the fastest car. So there's that going against him. There's also the fact that his team won't be supporting him as much as um, he would like, <laughs> especially now he's actually said. Bye, I'm going. Um, but on the flip side of that, he's got no reason to care. Yeah, I mean, it'd be no team orders. Not, yeah, how are they going to? You know, they're not going to be able to support team orders in that in that team now. That is it over. Good luck with that. <laughs> what are they do? Just Sack before, yeah, just before we go, as it's coming on nine minutes, can Ooh. you see our famous wall tire? Wall wall tile. That is a special prize it's in the background. With and Stan Ogden in the background, is it? We'll, need to, get you, we'll need to get you to spec savers, Andrew. It is not. It is. I'm just going on what Jonathan said on Thursday. He said it was Vera Douglas. Yeah. It is Ayrton <coughs> Senna and Juan Manuel Fangio. That's true. It is Juan and, Manuel Fangio and the other fellow. And the, the 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 little tile there that my finger is pointing to um, yeah, it could yeah, be yeah. yours. Exactly. It could be yours because when we hit the 1,000 subscribers, then that could be heading through your letterbox. And it's worth it. Must, it can't be, I can't think of anyone else in the world who will have that on their wall, but it could be one of our very fortunate car, sim, and race driver subscribers. Now, 
How do you get it? Well, let me show you. You see, I know exactly what I'm doing here. I'm sure it won't go wrong. Oh, go on. I, just, uh, I will take you to the exact page. There we go. Ah, now, this is my website, hughhattrick.com. And if well, you hit the videos site, you see, you go into video section, it will take you to our channel, which is, of course, Hugh Hattrick. And this is the car seminary server show, as you can see, all the videos that we've just put up. And there is a subscribe button. So all you need to do is hit the subscribe button, and that will subscribe you to our YouTube channel. So it's as easy as that. And if you want to send us an email at info at hughhattrick.com to confirm that that's what you've done, then in turn, it means we will put your name into the hat. And when we hit that thousand subscriber, which might not be very far away, you could be the lucky winner of that amazing wall tile. There you go. Thumb is pointing to that one. So there we have it. It's a short 10 minute show of the Car Sim and Race Driver Show with me, Hugh Hattrick, and my very special guest. Andrew Barr. Thank you for joining us and thank you to all our new subscribers, to all our existing subscribers and all our loyal supporters of the Car and Race Driver Show. It's great to have you with us. I probably should have said that at the very start. Um, yeah. We have to put that in. But uh, it's <laughs> great to see you and we'll be back midweek and we'll also be having our live stream as well on Thursday night. So make sure you don't miss it and hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. That's great. <laughs> Excellent. I hope you're agreeing with me there. And uh, <laughs> we will speak to you soon. Drive fast and try not to crash. Bye just now.